Hey YouTubers, uh, I'm going to show you some Zippo tricks today. I'm going to be using my brass high polish armor. That's uh, my everyday user. It's the one I usually bring out. And I also switch back and forth between this and my armor high polish uh, sterling silver one. And those are the two ones I mainly use. And I'm going to show you some tricks today. And the first one I'm going to show you is the gun. It's my favorite trick. I do it every time I light my Zippo. I always do it and that's why I'm gotten very good at it. I can do it almost every time. And then over time I can do the reverse. And I like the reverse because it just opens up like that. And how you do this trick is you pinch the top part, put the back part against the, the ball of the first finger there, and then take this finger and apply pressure and push. Oh, sorry. And just make sure it all happens with your grip on these two fingers here, your thumb and your pointer. It's all about that grip there. That's what it all makes. That's what makes the difference. And then you can do it every time anyway. And then the next trick I'm going to show you oh, is oh, the disappearing flame. And that trick is accomplished by pushing your wick towards the back. See that? That's all you gotta do. Just push your wick towards the back and disappear in flame. And just pull it away, boom, throw it back. And that's all you gotta do for the disappearing flame. And then the other trick is this one. Very basic trick. I actually don't do this trick. I actually don't even like it. I don't even think it looks cool, and anyone can do it really, and it's really bad on the hinge. This is a lot easier because you're just opening it. You're not you're not putting stress on the hinge, popping it open, making it pop open from pressure. You're pushing it, and in the motion, it's just pushing it open. You know what I mean? It's easy on the hinge, and I think it honestly does look cooler, and you can do more, right? You can do the reverse. Oh, wow. And you can do the reverse hinge, and be prepared for that. Sometimes... Your Zippo is going to go flying out of your hand and it's going to knock stuff over. It's, it's going to happen. Try that reverse one more time. There we go. Try it one more time. And here we go. Okay, so those are all the tricks. And that's how you do them all. And uh, like I said, for the, sorry I didn't tell you how to do this one. Uh, but like I don't really like it. But you just push down. Catch it. It's easy. You'll master it. But this is the one you want to master. Looks the coolest. And like, if you want to get serious about it, oh, whew. losing grip here. There we go. But I can't see what I'm doing because like the phone's in front of me and the thing holding my phone is like blocking the view. So I really can't see anything. I'm just doing this all by feel. But, um, but like online, you'll see that there's guys, they can light it and they can put it all through their hands and do this weird stuff with it. Like I can't do that stuff. It is way too hard. But like I see them, they can open it, light it, close it all in one go. It's like, oh man, how do you do that? But check out their videos, they're really good. I don't have links or anything, just Google it. You know, or type it into YouTube, you'll find it. And then another guy was saying that uh, putting a bag on the bottom of your insert diminishes your flame. Does that look like a diminished flame to you? Does that look like it's having a hard time lighting? Or anything like that? No, it does not. And just to prove it, Look, there's the bag right in the bottom. See it? There it is. See? There it is. And then you just put it back on, slide it back in. But I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm, I'll do it after. But, uh, yeah, so having the bag in the bottom of your Zippo does not diminish your flame in any way. I just proved it to you right there, you can see, and those are some cool tricks you can do and practice on and work with your Zippo guys, and uh, everyone have fun, take care, practice safely, and uh, I have more videos coming, I have a Golden Scroll 2018 Collectible of the Year Zippo coming, I have a 1941 Brass Replica coming, and I have a, actually a video on this Niagara Falls. Uh, 1998 Niagara Falls Iron Workers uh, Zippo, and I have a good story about that one to tell when I make the video for that. And uh, I'll see you guys around. I got more videos to come, and uh, 
I'll see you around.